Good evening, folks, and a very, very warm welcome to what I have marked as episode 20 of The Organist's Entertains. Does that mean next time we're going to have a, a silver wedding anniversary style event reaching age 21? And I do think that also means you get the key of the door, or am I getting my ages mixed up? But anyway, more of that next week. We're on episode 20 at the moment. We have more of your hymns and songs, and I'm hoping that you're enjoying them. It is my hope that as we're moving through these Organist Entertains videos, that we are maybe seeing a glimmer of hope about coming back to church and singing and making plenty of joyful noise. But meantime, I do hope that you enjoy our hymns and songs that have been chosen and requested for you, played for you here on the organ at Bells Hill Central Parish Church. So it's been a while since I've said, sit back, relax, so that you can enjoy the music. We trust that tonight's organist episode is as enjoyable as you've found the rest. Number one tonight is requested by Nikki. Nikki has requested the hymn, All the Way My Saviour Leads Me. It's a hymn that we don't sing, like most of these hymns. Perhaps I should make a note of these for when we're back in church, that these are the hymns that you like to sing. And it's a nice song from the book Mission Praise. It has three verses, and the words will appear on the side of the screen. So for Nikki, this is your choice and your request. All the way, my Saviour leads me. George Clark has requested our next item, and it is the hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. At Bells Hill Central, we sing it to the tune, All Things Bright and Beautiful, but it does, of course, have another tune called Royal Oak. So if someone would like it played to the alternative tune, just get in touch with us, and we'll gladly play that and sing that for you. But this hymn is a song of creation, it talks about the birds and the trees, it talks about the wind, it talks about the water, and it talks about mountains and just everything in God's glorious creation. This has been specifically requested, as I say, by George Clark. However, I do know it is a favourite 
of one of our little ones, little Florence, who comes to church with her gran, um, her gran Jean Hargraves, and she always likes to sing All Things Bright and Beautiful. And if I remember rightly, she has a little Sunday school Bible book called All Things Bright and Beautiful. So for George Clark, who's requested it, for little Florence and her gran Jean, and everyone else who just loves this hymn, we have All Things Bright and Beautiful. The next item, number three in tonight's episode, is words that people won't find familiar. The words are, not on a war horse, but a humble donkey. And it's words that we found for the choir at Bells Hill Central to sing on Palm Sunday a few years ago. And we've sang it quite a number of times since when we get to Easter and Holy Week. The words will appear at the side of the screen and they are really, really emotive words describing Jesus not riding on a war horse but on a humble donkey. And it talks about the various elements, processes and instances, instances that happened in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. The tune is Finlandia, a beautiful tune which you will find familiar with the words Be Still My Soul, and it is by Sibelius from one of his symphonic poems. Beautiful tune and a beautiful harmony, and the words really do dovetail quite nicely together. So for Sheila McKeown in the church choir, who didn't get to sing it this Easter, we have Not on a War Horse but a humble donkey.
The midway point in episode 20 is really items 4A and 4B. They have been requested by different people, and the reason that it's 4A and 4B is that it's the same words, but to different tunes. The first tune to the hymn, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say, is the English folk tune, Kingsfold. And the second tune that we have is Voi de Letze. Again, to I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say. Now, sometimes we do this in hymn books. We give you two tunes to choose from. Both of these tunes are lovely. And both of those these tunes show off the words in a slightly different way. So for Elspeth Dornan and for Ed Anderson, we have to the both tunes, I heard the voice of Jesus say. <laughs>
The next item tonight in the 20th Organist Entertains has been requested from Zandra Swan. Zandra is a member here at Bells Hill Central. I've said before she is an elder and she is our finance convener. She does the multimedia on some Sunday mornings and she is a member of the church walking group. She is an avid supporter of the church choir and she's, she's my deputy organist. Not that Zandra can play the organ, but perhaps we'll use this in a different episode. We have MIDI capability in the church organ here in Bells Hill Central, which means that I can record items onto a laptop or download a MIDI file, which means when I'm not here on holiday, they don't have to pay for a deputy organist. Zandra can sit at the organ, push a couple of buttons on the laptop, and the organ sounds just as if somebody's playing it. So this is an item for Zandra, our deputy organist, and it's the lovely hymn, As the Deer Pants for the Water. coming towards the end of tonight's Organist Entertains and we have a hymn requested from Mary Matthew. It is Thou whose almighty word chaos and darkness heard and it's to the tune of Moscow. Now I have been warned not to use the newer set of words which is God whose almighty word. I am using the older set of words which folk know and love Thou whose almighty word. And for those who are singing along, perhaps singing a harmony, I'm using the old harmony, the harmony that we all know from CH3, CH2 and the likes. So have a good sing. And for mum, here is Thou whose almighty word.
Tonight's penultimate item is requested from Elspeth Dorman, and it is the lovely hymn, Nearer My God to Thee. We don't sing this very often, and perhaps we should sing it a little bit more often, and it's just nice. It's full of nice, thick chords, which just makes it smooth, bringing out the harmony, and it does suit the mellow tones of our organ really very nicely. And we do hope that you sing up. And if I remember to put the right words on the screen, you sing the last line twice. So for Elspeth, here's your request of Nearer My God to Thee. So we have found ourselves at the final item in tonight's 20th episode of The Organist Entertains. And it's a variation or a paraphrase or a version of the 23rd Psalm. So you probably guessed what the song or hymn is. 
It has been requested from a member of the Bells Hill Church of Scotland Guild, Jesse Middleton. And the hymn is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. And we can sing this to two tunes. We usually sing it in Bells Hill Central to St Columba. But we're going to sing it to the set tune, which is the tune that everybody will know and love. So for Jesse, here is The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. We've made it through to another end of an episode and we have had all the hymns and songs that have been requested and I do hope that you've had a good old sing song. We're going to finish with an organ piece and it's from a collection of music called the Vesper Voluntaries and that is a, a, a collection of pieces by Edward Elgar. He was a prolific composer and he wrote these Vesper Voluntaries to be played before evening services or an evening service if you play them all. And it was written for just your typical parish church organ. So it is something that is really suited to the romantic sound of the organ here in Bells Hill. So here we have for you the concluding section of Elgar's Vesper Voluntary to finish tonight's Organist Entertains. Good night. <laughs>